all right guys um let us look at uh, the job creation let us create a job so if you look at um, we created three types of jobs here job seekers open jobs my jobs all of them for for now lead to the same url which is um uh jobs okay so if we click on any of them it's gonna provide us this page and look at what this page does this page is supposed to give a list of all uh jobs that were created and then uh we just need to rearrange this page to better reflect what uh, a, a good design all right so the first place we look for when we're looking for a good design is um right on admin lte dot io page so we're looking for something that looks like this and then has um basically has um contains something inside all right so uh, that's as supposed to we have been just this so first of all to even fix this one we can uh first of all create um, a new job so right now we're gonna fix the page uh that creates a new job first first thing you notice is that it is asking you for a user id now a user is not supposed to uh manually enter their user id so we're going to delete this field but then we automatically get it when the user submits the field so we are going to say okay let's first of all create a dummy user uh, id let's say the first user id is one i hope you understand what i mean by user id what i mean by user id is simple in the database If we go to users table, look at users table and we click on browse. We're talking about the ID of the users. So look at the ID field. So we currently have only one user and the ID field has only one record. So that's the user ID. So we can quickly uh, just add one here for now. The skills required uh, for the job. So we can say we are looking for PHP developer. So okay, it's not typing because somehow we made this. We mistakenly made this uh, a field that is not a um, text field. So we're gonna fix that. Uh, that's our first error. So to fix something like this, you start from your database. We go back to users table. Not really users, but we we'll go back to the list of tables. We're looking for jobs. Click on jobs. For some reason we made a mistake with the skills required so we're going to click on structure and we're going to change it to variable character skills required it's in integer which is a mistake we're going to click on change so when you automatically generate your database like this you will always meet this kind of um, issues where you mistakenly set a different uh, uh, type data type to your field so this is supposed to be var variable character var car and when it's variable character the length is usually uh somewhere around 255 is it nullable uh for now I'll make it nullable okay there's no way you're gonna create a job without um okay good so let's see if there's any other thing that breaks description cannot be integer this is supposed to be long text so we'll fix description too so the description is supposed to contain a letter it should be supposed to be a big box that contains a lot of data or text so we're gonna make it text and uh leave this empty that's how it is done whenever you set a type to the text the length of values must be empty and uh, it can't be empty we'll click save okay so is there any other thing we got wrong job types that are um, hmm. okay so far so good uh, we now have to go to our, our migrations and fix this to skills required and job descriptions so let's go to our code our code is in this 
So we're going to look for migrations. Migrations, and we're looking for jobs migration. So jobs migrations, we'll click on it, then we'll look for skills required. In the skills required section, we're looking for, you see, it's integer. This is not supposed to be integer. It's supposed to be um, string. And then here is supposed to be long text. So those are the places we made mistakes. And uh, that's not all the place we need to change it. So for every time you made a mistake in the variable type, you also have to uh, fix it in all these places. So we'll go to uh, app, we'll go to models, we'll look for job, and then we'll look for the configuration. As you can see, skills required is, is an integer. We have to change it to string. And here we'll change it to string again. I know in other places we made it a long text, but for this place it just takes string as a variable. So we look down to see somewhere here, integer, it's supposed to be string, and string. So these ones don't take long text. So you might ask, how did I know? I just knew by just um, uh, observing it, there is no place it is written exactly the type of, um, in, uh, the type of um, variable types to use here. And uh, you just know by using it. For instance, now I've done this, you now know that you can't use long text here. Then finally, we're going to look at providers or uh, no repositories. Look for job. Now, the idea is that if you don't do it in all these places, it's not going to work. You might just be surprised that it's not working and uh, you will not get any error and you will not know why it's not working. So every time you have to change the, the type, the field type, you must fix it in all these places. All right, I think so far we're good. And um, finally, we're going to fix it on the view. The view is the HTML or the blade template. Look at the views. We're looking for jobs. And inside jobs, we're looking for fields. Now, inside the fields, we're looking for, uh, you see, it is number instead of string or text. I think that should be... Oh, I think we have more mistakes somewhere. So we're going to set it to text. And then for this one, so the description, we call it text area. Text area. So let's go check on our page to see what it has fixed. So it worked. Look at this. Uh, I, can now, I can now type here. So this kind of makes sense so far. Now, oh, something else we have to uh, check is that um, here, look at the title. The title, look at this uh, option here, shows that the title is also string. I can't type on it. At the same time, if I just uh, type numbers, you see, it has numbers. So uh, that's the kind of issue we had with these two fields, description and um, skills required. I would leave you to do it by yourself fix it by yourself remember you have to start from here in the database where it is uh, integer and then you come here and change it then from changing it you move over to your code and change it in three different places all right um, i'm done fixing the field so let's refresh and see for the title uh, keep your eyes here after it has reloaded all right, so if we do this, you see right now we can now type text. It's, it's no longer restricting us to numbers. But for instance, this one is supposed to be integer. If I click here and try to type, you would it wouldn't type. And then, uh, but I can type numbers. Look at, I can type all the numbers I want, but text wouldn't type. So we fixed this. Let me just um, run you through in case you missed any step or how I fixed it. Um, I went to the database and uh, clicked on you, jobs table on the jobs table i went to the title field and clicked on change in the change i set it to variable character and the length is 255 all right now that's that's the maximum length for variable character and the maximum length for integer is usually 11 all right okay so now we've sorted these things out 
we'll look at something else we go to our code and change it in, in three places so the first place we change it is in the migration so if you go to database folder you find the jobs migration you see and then you change it the reason you're changing it in the migrations is so that if tomorrow you take only the source code and give to someone else if they run a migration it will create the correct database all right okay now um we go up to uh the app folder okay let me minimize migration so we went to the app folder under the app folder we went to the models and in the models file we found jobs okay so you click on job and then you change you start from the beginning here to change it so the type here is string you change it to string on the title then uh, you come here the type here is a string you change it to string and you're good let's say you're building a data a, a database and you forgot to create a certain field this is the same process you're gonna follow but when you come to this models page you have to add the new field here okay and add its type in our own case we're just changing the field, field type that's why i just uh, changed this to string and not just here you add it here too and if it's a required field you add it here too okay then you go to the repositories and add it in this case since it's just a modification of the field type we don't need to add it in repositories okay so after adding it in the models i now went to the view and found the jobs file and find found this field this is the file that contains list of fields this file is being used by two pages the first page that uses it is the edit page and the second page is the create page okay the way this uh, laravel info om uh, works is that it uses the same field set for both the edit and the create field so there in the fields table a fields file i went I, I sort out the title and then changed it from number to text so that way i have everything sorted out so let's try and create our first um data so i'm just gonna say this is one um just one here and then the, the job type we're gonna just say the job type we're looking for is um let's say we're looking for a php developer developer okay and then skills required we're looking for skills uh let's say it's uh, php is required um html css and so on the description we are looking for someone with uh, 12 years experience in laravel okay all right uh work type what kind of work we're gonna just list anything for now so uh anything let's say remote let's just be realistic status uh on country id let's say it's country number two we're still going to add it later on i don't know why it's going negative okay country number two and then uh organization id organization number one i know it doesn't exist yet job type job type is going to be full time full time all right good so we have all the fields sorted so let's click save so good now as you can see we have all this this is what our uh, index page looks like look at the uh, url here it says jobs slash jobs this is what it looks like but when we wanted to create look, uh, if you click on add new uh, keep your eye on the url it says slash jobs slash create so we're coming to that but um this is just to give you an idea of what the index page looks like so in the next uh page or in the next video we're going to edit this page to look like something we want maybe a little bit more presentable for us thank you very much see you